To orient a single part, first select the Escape key to be sure nothing is selected. Continue by selecting the edge of the part you wish to orient around. Then select the O key to rotate the part 90 degrees. You can continue to select the O key for other orientations. To orient a second part, select its edge and then the O key. It's also possible to orient the same part multiple times around different edges. When you're finished single part orientation, select the escape key to exit the command. To begin part to part orientation, select the escape key to be sure nothing is selected. In this example, we'll build a column from six parts. First, we'll flip up a single part into a vertical orientation. This will act as the anchor point to build the column. Now select Escape again to exit single part orientation and to be sure nothing is selected. Part to part orientation matches up the edges of two parts. Initially, it will align the faces. Select the O key to enter part to part orientation. Now select the edge of the part to move, being sure to select toward one end of the edge. The end point of the edge will act as the anchor point to the second part. After selecting the edge of the part to move, select the corresponding edge of the stationary part to orient them to each other. As in single part orientation, continuing to select the O key will rotate the part through four quadrants. In all four quadrants, the edges will always be coincident. You can attach any edge to any edge, even if they're not the same length, and each part can be oriented through four quadrants. Now we'll undo those changes and build the column. Thank you.